virtual college classes? It is controversial whether virtual college classes are as beneficial and educational as traditional college classes. Virtual classes can educate college students as efficiently as traditional classes with many additional benefits. First of all, a student's transportation needs to be needs are minimized. The student is able to stay at home which allows for significantly less expense during the student's college years. Secondly, the student is allowed to work at their own pace, so long as the student complies with the due dates on the syllabus. Additionally, a flexible schedule allows the student to maintain employment during different shifts and yet still get a good education. The university also benefits. Online classes are able to provide more education for students without the classroom space. Teachers also may want or need flexible schedules and teaching online classes could help obtain with this kind of schedule. Virtual classes can be planned in such a way that they include multiple sensory inputs. For example, very type, various types of media may be involved as well as various settings in the community for certain classes. Social and educational meetings may be arranged with peers by virtual contacts such as Skype, Uru, or FaceTime. In addition, they can arrange to meet with fellow classmates in the physical setting. Internet is available in many public places at no charge. Places such as libraries, restaurants, coffee shops, and local community college campuses. Some free Wi-Fi centers are open late into the night for any of a per, any of a student's assignments um, that may need to be turned in the next day. On the internet, students can access many virtual libraries that also might help them with their assignments. A student can attend college that is cities or even states away. Some students are even educated through lectures on a global scale. Through these programs, a student can reach a specialist even if they are not physically there. When hands-on education or lab are, labs are needed for the education, universities are also able to provide that. Some may be able to offer the same lab or hands-on experience more than once and or at different times or locations. This also depends on the size and resources of that particular university. Most college students today, even those of the older generation, are quite comfortable with using the computer and other technology or at least they are somewhat familiar with how to work it. The use of technology in virtual education for college students has taken its first steps and is likely to grow by leaps and bounds in educating college students, not only presently, but for future generations to come.